Yoon stood on her balcony trying to come up with a new design for her fashion line. She had been staring at the blank paper for what seems like hours, but nothing seems to come to her mind. As she leaned against the railing, her eyes fell on her bodyguard, Jeon Jungkook, who was standing with her father in front of the car, discussing something serious. Yoon couldn't help but take in his looks. Tall, well-built, and always with a cold demeanor, she knew that he only know how to do his duty, which he found annoying. He never answered any question or engaged in any conversation beyond his duty, making it seem like he don't like her. Yoon had far many bodyguards before for being annoying, but there was something about Jungkook that made him different. Jungkook felt someone's eyes on him and looked up, locking eyes with Yoon. For a moment, they both stood there gazing at each other before Jungkook looked away and got inside the car. Yoon sighed, recalling the first time her dad introduced her to Jungkook. He seemed like any other bodyguard to her. But there was something about me that caught her interest. She couldn't put her finger on it, but she was drawn towards him, even though he seemed distant and unapproachable. You knew one of the powerful mafia boss sitting in his office with a solemn face. No, absolutely not, Yun. You are not going out tonight. Her dad said with a strict tone, her daughter is stubborn, not all the time. Dad, I'm 25 years old and I can take care of myself. I really want to go to the fashion event tonight. You know how dangerous it can be out there. I can't risk your safety. But dad, I have been working so hard on my designs and I want to show them to the world. Yoon's expression softened a little and why not when she is only his daughter? He is just worried about her safety. Fine, you can go but I am hiring a bodyguard for you. A bodyguard? Really? Dad? Why don't you understand it's for your safety? Okay, fine. But if he is annoying like other bodyguard, I saw I showed him dad on the spot. They all do is to do their job and be responsible for once. And he is highly trusted. Fine. Just be careful, sweetheart. I don't want anything to happen to you. You can smile and walk towards her dad before hugging him. I will, dad. Don't worry. The door of her father's office opened in a tall, well-built man in his late twenties. He has a serious and focused expression on his face. And his sharp eyes quickly scan the room as he entered. He is dressed in a sleek black suit. Yoon Jungkook, meet my daughter Yoon. Jungkook gives shift to Yoon and he takes a moment to study her. Yoon is a young woman in her early 20s. She dressed in her trendy clothes and has a determined, independent aura about her. Nice to meet you, Miss Yoon. Likewise, Jungkook. Jungkook, Yoon will be attending a fashion show tonight. I need you to ensure her safety at all times. Understood, sir. I'm trusting you, Jungkook, for her safety. Don't disappoint me. I will never, sir. She will be safe with me. Now you can leave. They both walked out of the office. So it's Jungkook, did you enjoy the show? Yes, come on, don't lie to me, I see how you were not interested. Ma'am, my duty was to keep you safe. You roll her eyes, good, very good, another unknown bodyguard. Are they all reports or something? I want to go home now. You said knowing there is no use to waste energy. Yes, ma'am, he leads her to the car while keeping his guard high to protect her at all costs. As they sat in the car, you try and once again to strike up a conversation with Jungkook. He determined to break through his strike exterior. So, Jungkook, do you always act like a report or is that just part of the bodyguard training? It's called being professional, ma'am. I take my job seriously. But don't you ever loosen a bit? My main priority is to ensure your safety, ma'am. And blah blah blah. I have heard this line for at least a thousand times since you are hired for me. I'm already getting annoyed. And Jungkook glanced at her from the mirror, but he stays silent. It's his job. He can't be frank with anyone. Most importantly, not with his boss, daughter. Alright. Let's try this. What do you enjoy doing in your free time, Jungkook? Jungkook paused for a moment at a certain question about his personal time. I train, read, and listen to music. Hmm, impressive. What do you like to read in books? I enjoy reading thriller and mysteries. Oh, really? Then we have similar tastes in book. Seems like it. He nodded. It was his first time at a job where someone asked about his priorities too, and he kept taking glances at her in a mirror. Well done, Jungkook. I'm proud of you. His boss praised him while Jungkook bowed to him in respect. Thank you, sir. I'm glad to hear that. His boss sent him on a mission not for her daughter's safety, though, but it was a mission that he only trusts Jungkook with it. Not even his closest man. You never fail to make me think that I made the right choice to hire you. It's my pleasure, sir. It's not your duty to go on a mission like this, but you know my daughter is receiving continuous threats, and she. Kyunhee's voice trailed off as he struggled to contain his emotions. Yoon's safety was his top priority, and he trusted Jungkook to protect her. 
I understand, sir. I will make sure to handle both mission and mission safety. Thank you, Jungkook. He bowed again to Kyun Hee before walking out of his office. As he came out, he scanned the hallway. His eyes followed Yoon. She was carrying some design sketches in one hand, her mobile in on the other hand, and managing a cup of juice on top of it all. He couldn't help but admire how focused he was managing everything. Jungkook noticed that unlike other rich and spoiled girls, Yoon always had a simple and elegant sense of style. Her choice of clothes reflected her personality, and he found himself admiring her from afar. Yoon walked towards her room. Jungkook maintained his distance, knowing he was not supposed to engage in personal conversation with her. But his eyes widened when he saw her slip and the juice spill on design sketches. He didn't hesitate and ran towards her, catching her before she fell. Both of their eyes met, and her eyes widened in surprise. Are you okay, you, ma'am? Yoon stood up, her cheeks tinted pink as she looked around. I'm okay. She looked down at her ruined design. Jungo noticed how her expression changed to a sad one. He bent down, collecting all the pages carefully. Hey, be careful, there are some glass pages here. He made sure to pick up all the pages, taking extra care to avoid any sharp glass edges. Once he had gathered everything, he handed the pages back to Yoon. Yoon stared at him how he was helping her. Thank you, Jungo. I'm sorry your design has completely ruined. Is there anything I can help you with, ma'am? Yoon sighed. She hated when he called her ma'am. It made her feel like she is older than him. But he is older than her if she guess. Maybe he is three years older than him. No, thank you. She said and walked away from there. Jungkook sighed and went to his room. Yoon had been receiving threats message for almost a week now and her father had become worried for her safety. Worried for her safety. As a result, he had locked her in their mansion and hired extra security personnel including Jungkook. Jungkook, the threats are increasing day by day. We need to make sure that Yoon is safe. I'm trying my best, sir, but the gang is becoming more powerful day by day. They seem to have unlimited resources and connections. How cowardly of them to attack one woman and not to fight face to face. Don't worry, sir, Yoon will be safe with me. Don't worry, sir, I will take care of everything. She came out of her room, but follows her eyes when she saw Jungkook leaning there on the wall. What are you doing here? Just making sure that everything is secure, Miss Yoon. Well, thank you, but you don't have to stand here all day. You can take a break and go get something to eat or drink. I'm fine. Yoon couldn't help but admire his dedication to his job. He knew that he was always focused on his duty, but seeing it first hand made her feel even more for his presence. Come inside, you must be tired. What? No, Miss Yoon, I'm okay. Then at least go to your room and rest. I'm safe here in my room and no one is going to kidnap me from here. Jungkook hesitated for a moment, but then he nodded and made his way to his room. Yoon watched him go, feeling a sense of relief that he finally takes a rest for himself. Yoon's heart was heavy with disappointment as she watched the clock tick closer and closer. It was the time of the fashion event. Her father had forbidden her from attending due to the threats, and no matter how much she pleaded, he refused to change his mind. Yoon felt angry and frustrated. This was her dream, and today was the final round. She had worked so hard to prepare for this moment, and now it was slipping away from her. Yoon took a deep breath and opened her to her room, but first when she saw Jungkook was leaving there again. She cursed under her breath and closed the door. She had planned to sneak out of the house. I have to do this. She opened the door of her room again. Jungkook looked at her, and before he could possess Yoon grabbed his hand and pulled him towards her room before locking it. What are you doing, ma'am? Jungkook, I have made up my mind. I am going to a fashion event. I don't care about threats. It's my dream. Miss Yoon, please, your dad will be furious. I can't. Jungkook, please, why don't you all understand you are really my dream? Your safety is what well. I am locked up in this jail for almost one month. Do you know how it feels? She yelled at him frustratingly, and he was taken aback. She came closer to him with tears in her eyes. She placed her hand on his arm, leading him. And the first time she saw Jungkook, eyes softened. Please help me. Jungkook stared at her longer than he expected. How must she be feeling helpless? Yoon smiled and wiped her tears. She picked her sketches as a both sneak out of the room, doing his. Jungkook got his gun with him. He knew her strangers, but he saw her straight and he can't leave her like that. The event was finally over and Yoon couldn't contain her excitement. She had won first place and the feeling of pride and happiness filled her up. Everyone was congratulating her, praised her design and Yoon felt like the happiest person in the world. She saw Jungkook standing outside all alone looking everywhere. Yoon excitedly walked towards him. Jungkook, Jungkook turns around to look at her. I won the first prize. She exclaimed excitedly and, and annoyingly. Jungkook lips curved in a small smile. Congratulations, and I can't do it without you. She said softly and Jungkook stared into her eyes. It's your hard work, Yun. You helped me to fulfill my dream. You are my responsive. He froze when she kissed his cheeks and he felt a weird feeling in his stomach that he had never experienced before. 
He was not sure what to say or how to react, so he just stood there staring at her. Thank you. Jungkook nodded and used Japan as he stretched in his posture. Let's go home. Then they walked to the car. Jungkook dropped the car, but suddenly someone began firing at the car. Then panicked as Jungkook sped up the car, but the car behind them continued firing at them. Yun, do you know how to drive? Yes. Take control then. He said as he moved to the passenger seat. Yun took over the wheel and started driving. Quickly as Jungkook lowered his gun and fired back from the window. Yun, take a left turn. Are you sure? Just do it. Yun turned left, narrowly avoided hitting another car. The attackers followed them, but they were not driving in a narrow street. Stop the car, Yun. Yun stopped the car and Jungkook quickly got out, firing the attacker's car. The attackers returned fire, but Jungkook managed to hit one of the tires. Their car spun out of control and crashed into a nearby wall. Jungkook ran back to Yun's car, motioning her to drive away quickly. Yun, is, Yun started the car and drove away, her heart racing. He looked at him and her eyes widened. You are bleeding. It's not that serious, Yun. You need to go to hospital. We can't, Yun. Just drive back to the mansion. Yun nodded and dropped to the mansion. They managed to get back in the mansion without anyone noticing them. Jago moved to his room when he was alone and sat down on the bed. He groaned as he removed his shirt, but got startled when he felt hand reaching out to him. Relax, it's me. Let me help you. No, miss you. Go to your room. This is not the first time I have been witnessing someone injured, Jago. So let me help you. Jago gave in and she sat in front of him as he examined his wound. He gently touched the wound and Jago winced in pain. She took a deep breath and started cleaning the wound with alcohol. Jago tried to hold back his pain, but he couldn't. Help the small groan escaping his lips. Yun looked at him with concern in her eyes. I'm sorry, Jungkook. This might hurt a bit. It's okay. I can take it. Yun continued to clean the wound and bandage it up. Jungkook stared at her, his heart beating in his chest. He knew he felt something for her, but it's not good for him. Not for her. Her touches were like fever, sending multiple feeling in his stomach. I'm sorry, Jungkook. This is all because of me. Jungkook looked down. Yes, it was her fault, but he agreed to take her. I agreed to take you out, but I rejected. If something happens to you, are you so concerned about my safety? Because it's my duty. So you, you do this because it's your duty? Don't you feel anything for me? Jago was taken aback from her sudden question. My feeling don't matter. Yun felt a pang of sadness at Jago's response, but she was determined to break through his walls and show him that he was more than just a bodyguard to her. Hope your father don't find out. But fate was not with them. Junior got to know about all the incident. And now Jungkook and Yoon were standing there with their head hung low. I didn't expect this behavior from you, Jungkook. I'm sorry, sir. And Yoon, you have disappeared. And Yoon, you have disobeyed my orders and put yourself in danger. Do you have any idea how serious this would have been? Dad, I hired you to take care of her, but what are you doing sneaking out and putting my daughter in danger? Jungkook, you know what is a punishment for disobeying? Jungkook, you know what is a punishment for disobeying? Dad, it's not his fault. I was the one who forced him. And why when I told you to stay at home? It was my dream, Dad. How can I leave it like that? You should be proud of me. I got the first prize. You said you are angry. Proud? I almost lost you last night. What should I be proud of? I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean for things to get out of my hands. But you don't have to worry about us. I'm sorry, sir. Jungkook, you both went against my orders and put yourself daughter in danger. I am fine, Dad. He saved me last night. He got shot. When your eyes widened, he didn't know about the Jungkook got shot. He just informed about the accident. What? Do you get shot? It's not that serious, such as a flash horn. Now tell me what should I do with you? You are a loyal man and I trust you, but this is not acceptable. I'm so sorry, sir. Okay, now you both leave, but next time be careful. Jungkook bought and both of them left. They were both walking towards the room where Jungkook spoke. You didn't have to stand for me. Your dad was already angry with you. I didn't even do anything. I just tell them the truth. But still, it was my duty to protect you, not yours. I care about you, Jungkook. Jungkook felt that feeling again, but he looked down. Don't. I'm just your bodyguard, but I want you more than a bodyguard. Jungkook eyes widen at her confession, and he stood still. If you feel something for me, then don't ignore me like this. I. The knock on the door startled them. Boss is calling you, Jungkook. Okay. He gave a last glance to Yoon and moved out of there. Two days had passed. Yoon was locked in a mansion and didn't have to go outside. So Jungkook was just working hard, and most importantly, he was with her father, tracking the gang location that was sending threats to Yoon. But Yoon wanted to talk to him. She wanted to know how he feels about her. Last time, he did a response. Yoon saw Jungkook coming out of the car. It was night time. He must have come after doing some mission. She gathered her courage and decided to talk to him. He's ignoring her and she can feel it. After she confessed to him. She followed him and knocked on his door. After a few seconds, she heard full step and the door opened. Jungkook eyes widened as he saw him standing there.
She looked at him. The coat he was wearing was nowhere to be seen. The white shirt he was wearing was open and his heart was beating through the shirt. She tried to distract herself and look at his face. Can I come in? Ah, uh, sure, come. He opened the door widely and you looked around his room. She saw him buttoning his shirt and after that he walked up towards her. He buttoned up only three to four buttons. Do you want to talk about something? Yes. What's on your mind? You took a deep breath before speaking. I just wanted to talk to you about what's been going on between us. You have been ignoring me for the past few days. I'm not ignoring you, Miss Yun. I know what it feels like you are avoiding me. You have not talked to me properly since I confessed to you. Our relationship is professional. We can't involve feeling in this. But I can't help how I feel about you. Jungkook, you are someone I deeply care about. Jungkook heard his capability staring towards his sincere eyes. He watched as she stepped closer to him and tracer her hand down on his arm. He felt electricity went down to his body. He gulped. Miss Yoon, I, I can't. I know you have to be professional, but I can't deny my feelings anymore. I have felt for you. Jungkook gazed at Yoon, his usual mask of emotionless person slipping as he struggled with his emotions. I understand, but I can't take this anymore. She stepped more closer to him as her eyes fell with tears. She is making him weep on his knees and he is turning helplessly. Yoon, we can't. This is not right. You need to before he could finish his sentence. And words not right about it. We both feel this way. I know you do too, Jungkook. Please don't push me away. Jungkook remains silent looking into her eyes. Feeling conflicted. He knows he shouldn't give in to his feelings, but he can't deny that he's been drawn to him from the beginning. He can take a step closer, her hand reaching up to cup his cheeks. Please, Jungkook. Jungkook stared at her with his puzzled mind. I just want to give in in the moment. It won't affect us, right? Just this moment, no one will know. Jungkook's heart was pounding in his chest and his mind was racing with multiple thoughts. He knew that giving into his desire might risk both of their lives, but he couldn't ignore Yun Plea. Yun looked up to him, confusion and heart etched on her face. I'm sorry, Yun. We can't do this. It's not right. Yun, please leave from here. Yun wipes her tears and slowly walked out of the room. Jungkook watches her go feeling guilty. He knew he shouldn't have given in to his feeling, but it's too late to take it back now. He sat on the edge of his bed, his head in his hand, trying to sort out his emotions. He knew that their relationship can never be, but he can't bring himself to regret the moment they just shared. Are you going to pretend nothing happened between us? Yun asks as she is done with his behavior. Her feeling grew deeper and deeper for him, but he loves to hurt her. Jungle looked at her with a cold face. He was still guilty about that night. I told you that it shouldn't have happened. I can't just forget it. It was best for us to forget about it. Wow, how it's easy for you just to say those words, right? Then why did you give me false hopes? I didn't give you false hopes, Miss Yun. Yeah, what I do was a mistake and it should not happen again. You look at him with her full eyes. So it was a mistake. You don't feel anything. For me, her voice rocked, but she still asked him to accept something good. No, I don't. Yun eyes fell with tears as he took a step back. The pain in her heart was unbearable. She couldn't believe that he didn't feel anything to her. He had given him her heart, and he had crushed it with few words. Don't make my duty difficult for me, Yun. I advise you to forget the feelings you have hurt for me. Your father trusted me, and I can't betray him. Alright, father trust is more important than your love, right? I got hired for you to protect you, but it doesn't change the fact that I have have feeling for you and you kiss me back, remember? Why did it happen then? Was it a just a moment of weakness for you? I don't know. I was confused and I made a mistake, but it won't happen again. Yun heart kept excusing him. He keep hurting her with these words and she finally wiped her tears. So you want me to forget all the things? Yes. He said with a cold face and you nodded. Fine. If that's what you want, I will not disturb you from now on. She said and walked away from there. Then who sat there while his tears started dropping on his file. He felt alone, vulnerable, powerless. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, Yun. I keep hurting you, but that's how you will forget about me. I love you, I love you so much that I can sacrifice. There is no future for us. Jungkook wiped his tear and took a deep breath. Trying to compose himself, he couldn't help but feel guilty for the pain he was causing him. He had prioritized his duty. What is this for? Jungkook. Jungkook eyes widened as he looked at the picture. It was the night of the exhibition. Yun kissed him on his cheek. The time he started realizing his feelings were. Sir. Don't try to lie to me, Jungkook. I can see everything. I'm sorry, sir. 
I trusted you, Jungkook. You were supposed to protect my daughter, not to make a move on her. This is unprofessional and unacceptable. It will not happen again, sir. It better not. Jungkook was sitting on his boss' office. The door opened and Yoon walked in. Jungkook took a sharp breath. He didn't saw her for weeks now. Dad, you called me? Yoon hugged her dad. Her father looked in a good mood. What happened? You look so happy. Of course, I'm finally you are free from all those death threats. Oh, finally, after so many months. Thank you, Dad. Don't thank me. Thanks, Jungkook. He really helped me in this mission for protecting you. No, sir. It was my duty. Of course, it's their duty, Dad. That's what they get paid for, right? She said coldly and Jungkook was taken aback by her tone. She stared and did a stare at glance at him. I'm going to my room, Dad. I'm not feeling well. Young dad, I decided that you now can go out like you wanted to. I know not all the danger had died, but you are locked here for too long. If you need fresh air, you will feel better. Thank you, Dad, but no need. I will be resting in my room. She said and walked away from there, while Jungkook can feel his heart age. Jungkook stood up and was ready to leave the office when her dad called him. Jungkook, we need to talk. Jungkook knocked on Yun's door, waiting for her to open the door. She opened the door and looked at Jungkook. What are you doing here? Can we talk? Go on, I'm listening. Can you come inside? Yun thought before nodding and opening the door. Jungkook stepped inside her room. Her whole room smelled like her. He inhaled the scent. Yes, you wanted to talk. Why are you not going outside? Your dad was right. You need fresh air. You have been locked here for so long. Now I'm used to it. That's not healthy, Yun. You shouldn't care about my health. I can take care of myself. Besides, you have already done your work. Your duty as my bodyguard is over, so you can resign. She said, even though each word was hurting her. Jungkook felt a pang in his heart. You really think I did my duty because of money? Yes, because there is no other reason than this. No, that's not true. I did my duty because I care about you, Yun. I didn't want anything to happen to you, and I still don't. Money had nothing to do with it. Leave. It's all useless now. Jungkook heard saying it in words, and he couldn't help but feel hurt. He took a deep breath before speaking again. I'm sorry, I know I hurt you a lot, but now I make everything all right. I care about you deeply. I love how you take care of me and get worried for me. I love all that you touches. I know that kiss. It was not a mistake. I kissed you because I wanted to. Because from the start, I felt something for you. I was afraid we don't have future together, so I decided to let you go. But now I can't hide my feelings anymore, Yun. I love you. Yun heard a scrap of it and his confession, and tears started rolling down her cheeks. Then why did you say all those things to me? She cried and Jungle stepped closer to her. He wipes her tears with his thumb and gently cupped her face in his hand. Yun, please don't cry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just couldn't bear the thought of putting you in danger of betraying your father's trust. But now I realize that I can't live without you. I know it's complicated, but please, can we try to... Work things out between us. Look at him with tears in his eyes, and nodded her head slowly. Jungkook heard sobs with hope and happiness, and he leaned in to kiss her gently on the forehead. I hope I'm not disturbing you too. Jungkook pulls away from Yun, his cheeks heating up. Yun turned around. Dad, I can explain. Jungkook gripped on her hand tightly and smiled at her. No need to explain. I already know everything. Jungkook, we need to talk. Not his worth of your behavior. What are you two hiding from me, sir? Jungkook called him in a stern tone, and Jungkook said, "Yes, there is something that I'm hiding. And what is it? I love you." He said and closed his eyes, ready to get yelled by his boss. You know it very well that you are here to protect her, and this is against rules. Yes, sir. But still, you break the rule. It was not my choice, sir. I don't know when I start to fall in love with her. It all get out of my hands. You are only here to do your duty. Jungkook looked. Jungkook looked down. He might well lose his job, but I also know that you are a good man, and I trust you. You will do what is best for you, even if it means sacrificing your own feelings. Yes, sir. Then go. What are you waiting for? Take care of you. She needs you now more than ever. I can see how much she loves you. Jungkook smiled and bowed to him again and again. Thank you, sir. Please forgive him. He was showing his loyalty and doing his job. I realized he truly loved you when I heard him crying for you. And I don't want to be a villain in my daughter's story. Thank you, Dad. My daughter's happiness is my first priority. He said and hugged her. Jungkook stared at them with a small smile on his face. Come here, can you? Guess you're for Jungkook to come closer and they hugged. And they all embraced each other tightly, feeling a sense of warmth and comfort. After a few moments, they pulled away from the hug and Kyunhee looked at Jungkook with a serious expression. But if you hurt her, you will have to deal with me. Jungkook nodded. He looked up at Jungkook, her eyes shining with happiness and love. They all knew that there were challenges ahead, but they were ready to face them together.